I just want sort of your your overall view on what's going on in the world right now because I'm actually at the point where I, I start to get a little worried when I see that Catholics are being targeted because the FBI may think that that they are actually a, a threat to society. I just sit there and say, well, well, who's next? I mean, it's Catholics, then it's evangelicals, then it's Jews, then it's atheists. There's a sense that somebody wants to divide us quite badly and pit us against each other. And it worries me for the future of society. What's your thought? Well, I think of all the threats that the United States faces today, it's the worst drug epidemic ever, 100,000 Americans plus dying per year of drug overdoses. That's 5X what we saw 23 years ago. I think of crime surging in American cities all around the country. I, I see that we're on the brink potentially of World War III when you look at what's happening in Ukraine. And so amid all of this, the Biden administration decides the place we need to focus our federal resources is on uh, infiltrating Latin mass Catholic parishes <laughs> where people are just trying to go to mass on Sunday. This is a little bit of a personal story for me because yeah. I attend a Latin mass parish and I can tell you it, the parishes are filled with violent extremists because <laughs> the Latin mass going Catholics, they tend to have a lot of children, a lot of toddlers shrieking, yelling, crying. It's, it's very extreme and sometimes violent. Uh, this, by the way, this is a relative small minority of Catholics who go to these more reverent traditional masses. And it's, it just tells you everything you need to know about the Biden administration. Uh, in fact, Merrick Garland was asked about this by Senator Cruz on the Hill just recently. And uh, Merrick Garland said, oh, I totally think it's terrible. I found that report from the FBI unacceptable. We're really looking into it. And then Senator Cruz very slyly asked, he said, so... How many agents do you have spying on Catholic churches? And Garland said, oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't think we should have any. And I said, well, you just gave up the whole game, Buster. <laughs> Which yeah, is, no, I don't it was know. alarming. I mean, they had, I think, about 12 churches listed in that memorandum, one of which was in my home state of New Hampshire. I mean, come on. I mean, it, listen, I grew up Catholic. When I was a kid, there were a lot of masses in Latin. I didn't speak Latin, and I didn't understand a lot, but my parents who also didn't speak Latin, they liked it because, you know, Michael, it, it gave them, I think, a sense of nostalgia because they grew up going to mass in Latin. But now suddenly you're uh, an extremist because maybe well, there, you... Well, go ahead. I think there's actually a fairly sophisticated political reason as to why the Biden administration would want to crack down on the Latin mass, which is this principle, which in Latin is lex orandi, lex credendi. Lex Vivendi, the idea that the way that we worship, the rituals that we engage with affect the way that we believe and the way that we live our lives. And so the thing people like about the Latin mass, it's not just the language, that's only part of it. It's that it's more reverent. It's more traditional. The focus is more on God, at less on the people and entertainment and that sort of thing. And so if you are worshiping and engaging in rituals in a way that is more traditional, more conservative, more normal, <laughs> then you're going to have a society that's more of all those things. And unfortunately, liberals and modernists and progressives, they don't like that. And so they figure if they can cut off the ritual and the worship, then the belief and the way of life is going to follow. Hey, everyone, Trish Regan here. If you enjoyed that clip, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Did I do that right? Uh, not quite, but you know where it is. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get the alerts, and I'll see you back on the show.